Hello, I'm Tony. I purchased a retired U-Haul with an intention to turn it into a sexy RV camper. That was in June. I worked on it through the summer. If you're new here, you might want to catch up. There's a playlist about buying a box truck. But if you've come along for the ride, you know that in this episode, I'm building the shower. Oh, not the mechanics of the shower. That's a different day. But when this video ends, there's going to be the proper skylight ceiling finishing. There's going to be walls, but we're gonna begin by affixing the uh, shower pan to the floor with the proper plumbing attachments. Hold on. Okay, so the proper plumbing attachments were a challenge. I eventually went to Ace Hardware where I was able to speak to somebody with experience. This is my situation and I needed an extender before we can get into the P-trap. I do not believe I'm attaching this um, because I'll need to know the placement of the water tank. Let's just begin with this. This is the hole that I drilled in last week's episode. Yeah, it's a little large, but I have a, I have a fix for that. I'm doing this so you can see. We're gonna take a little uh, even bead of silicone sealant along the edges for a watertight seal. This is going to ensure a sturdy connection between the shower pan and the floor of the U-Haul. So this is a first, right? Because I have not been able to secure this pan because this needed to be attached first. I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna expand spray foam up. So let's see, let's hope it doesn't come through the tub. Mm. I, let, let's see. This is something I always know. See where I'm off in my measurement here? It's fraction, but these screws will attach. I'm gonna do this one first to see how much I can pull in. See the cutout? That means the screw is inset, meaning I can butt, I can butt the PVC panels on a grout line and they fit perfectly smooth. I am finally bonding the shower pan to the actual box truck. Okay, let's see how much we can get. Let's see how much we can get under here. Do, 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 do. Whee! Woo! It sounds like wild cats. Wow. Wow. This panel. Right? This panel fits perfectly up here. All right, yeah, it fits perfectly up here, but it needs to be black to match this. Let's paint it black and I'm gonna call it a day. I just realized that the middle is being cut away. Don't waste paint there. Okay, edit, let me explain something. My either watch or the environment that I am, I'm getting noise uh, warnings, 100 decibels, maximum 117. So not only are we adding a mustache to the uh, project, we're adding ear protection. Let's go back.
gonna be impatient. This all needs to dry. Tomorrow, I'll cut the proper hole and then turn it over and put it on the table saw and really form fit the sides. Can I talk about the genius of me? Can I? Earlier, I finally attached. This has become one. So at the end, I sandwiched the uh, two by four in here. I put screws here, which can come out now. The screws were my handle to pull this forward. I then drilled holes and filled it entirely with the expanding foam, right? And what it's created, oh my God, that hot. Okay, the, um, yeah, good job, Tony. I'm gonna smooth out all of this. Yeah, this is one step closer to the floor. You know what's amazing now? Like who I am now, as opposed to when I started this, every lump, every bump matters. Yeah, it matters, right? When I have the board that doesn't re, it matters. <laughs> When there's a lump of, you know, a little bit of the, that, it matters. It, it matters. Right. The surfaces that you have to cover, trust me, it matters. So. <laughs> Now let's tackle moisture sealing for the top skylight panel. Working with clear pour epoxy for the first time can be a bit nerve wracking, but I'm following the instructions carefully. Building the mold is crucial. As I dive into the world of clear pour epoxy for the first time, precision becomes my best friend. I've meticulously measured each component following the provided instructions. The mixing process requires patience. I want to make sure there's no streaks or bubbles that could compromise the final result. Ooh, it's an expensive learning curve, but I'm excited to see how this step will elevate the moisture sealing game in the U-Haul conversion. I think it's possible. An apology. All right, hold on. What? We, I think there's... I need to apologize. I said at the very beginning that this vlog was about the building of the shower and before it's over, there's gonna be walls and there's gonna be ceiling. I just, I know it's a fine time to read, a fine time to read the directions, but um, it's gonna take six hours for this to set up and it's gonna take seven days before I can put it on the table saw to cut it. Seven days? Okay, well, no, I need to get I need to get a vlog out before seven days. So yeah, the top chalk line of the walls, it, that is all determined by where the skylight piece fits, which will not be ready until what Valentine's Day? No, we need to get a vlog out before then. So I'm over here doubting myself. I'm taking a heat gun. I'm blowing up. I'm blowing the bubbles out. It looks like a mess, but I'm not allowed to to come up with that decision or assumption for 72 more hours. So anyway, I don't. It's it's 3:09. I don't like to waste a day. Then somehow I've decided to start putting the back wall up here. I have to put the insulation in. I'm not gonna do it all because of the air unit, but I just want to stay busy. Keeps me from being disappointed in myself. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I said it. Um, yeah, so this video is not about what I said it's gonna be about. But we have, I have moved ahead on the project. You know, I'm not gonna say I don't know how I feel about this. I actually do know how I feel about this. I don't like it. I, I am not trusting the process. This has to sit for 72 hours. We'll see what the next vlog brings. Do not be surprised if I rebuild it and weather coat it because yeah, if I have to wait 72 hours, we're all gonna wait until the next vlog. <laughs>